Week 13 in the National Football League. And Tampa can sweep Atlanta for the second straight season. Can the Falcons manage a series split? We'll find out next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A moment ago, here was the scene. The Falcons coming out from their tunnel to the roar of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're ready for football as these Falcons get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Charles Davis and Charles we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay they come in off another victory a week in the go that ran their win streak up to seven now and I think that win last week established them as Super Bowl front runners they're playing with confidence and swagger and you need that to go a long way on the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they've come in on a nice run of recent form four wins out of five out to the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. They'll be led out by the third overall pick in April's draft, the rookie from North Dakota State, Trey Lance. And the guys on the other side of the ball know they'll have to be on their toes. And it's obviously not just the passing, but the running element that makes him dangerous. He ran for over 100 yards in that game last week. So keeping him contained will be a big emphasis for this defense. First carry for James Conner. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The numbers there for Conner in last week's game. 16 carries, 56 yards, and a touchdown. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the handoff. Now Lance. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Falcons say they have it. They do. So here are the Falcons with great field position to start out. They'll be led out by the reigning MVP of the National Football League. Now in his 17th season out of Cal, it's Aaron Rodgers. Well, he did go 2-2 two and two in the last ball game. Well, actually, he went 2-2-1, two, two and one, with the 1 being the victory. Yeah. That's the bottom line there. But wasn't it funny at practice? He threw one when we were watching, threw an interception, and the defense got on him a little bit, <laughs> good-naturedly. But they're letting him know, you got to cut down those interceptions. We can't bail you out all the time. Yeah, two touchdowns, two picks. But as you said, they got the win in that effort last week. The numbers on the ground for Jones last week. 21 carries, a touchdown to go along with 124 yards. Are we playing old school football now? We've got the top 10 rusher in the league. He's sitting at number 10, but he has a chance to move up with a big time game. So expect that offensive line every time they go to the bench to tell the offensive coordinator, let's run the football. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They'll go with Jones. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. Touchdown! That's caught. Jesse James, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. 
a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's good, and that gives the Falcons a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and the Falcons score to cap it off. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Donovan Peoples-Jones now from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Muscles him off. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Second down at five. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. From the 36, Lance. And his throw is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. To throw, it's Lance. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Falcons will get it first and ten from deep in their own territory. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. James has got it. Complete. That catch good for only a couple. On second down, it's Jones. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Here's Rodgers to throw. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Caleb on chase on. Make that now eight sacks for him on the season. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out. First and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. And Lance's throw into the hands of the receiver, Chenault. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! LaVisca Chenault, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And the top speed he attained there, according to Next Gen Stats, 21.3 miles per hour. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Here we go. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons' offense at the line. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. 
I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now on second and 13, Rodgers. It got his man complete. Yeah, he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Over the middle complete. It's James. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? They'll try the right side with Jones. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. To throw is Rodgers. Got a man, it's Chase, he completes it. And the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Throwing is Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Kayla Von Chason in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now he'll escape to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Tucker's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not, Either not way. the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. From the 27, Lance eluding the pressure right. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. Seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On first and 10, here's Lance. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Shaquille Barrett in there for the sack, and he's closing in on the all-time record. That's number 19 on the year. The competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. Well, they're 
in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. And Lance again going to keep it. And he'll get this up over the 25 to the 26. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Here's Lance to throw it. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Atlanta prepped and ready for its next possession. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Now Rodgers. And a catch right side by Evans. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". On second down, it's Jones, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The Falcons on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. So from the 36 now, first and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Three yards the game there, second down. Rodgers going to throw to Evans on the slant. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 14. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A give to Jones. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. And Tucker's kick right there, and it's good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Peoples-Jones going to elect to bring this one out. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. 
Getting set to go again on offense. Here's Devontae Parker now. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times, that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make this a second down. Here's Lance. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Pat Fryermuth, 78 yards. And the Bucs are just an extra point away from grabbing the lead now. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how a drive you're supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. The Falcons on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time they face a third and two. The give is to Jones. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. So from the 36 now, first and 10. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He finds his man complete. That's James. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Rodgers. And this all incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And a fine chase on the right side complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry by Jones. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Going to throw deep for the end zone. 
toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Tucker's kick is good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high as he once had six goals. Oh, 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 six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He'll get that out to the flat to White. First down now, but that clock rolling. The Lance going to throw. Flush to his right. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the 36, Lance. He'll dump this one off to Connor. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to have a third down. Lance now to throw. He'll get this to Coleman. And he goes out right around the 39. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. A 41-yard punt there with no return. Now Aaron Rodgers and the offense heading back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good, playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Rodgers will try again on second down. Aaron, this one out for Evans. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Rodgers now on first down. Open man right side, Myers. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Rodgers now to throw. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one to try again after the sack. Rodgers, and a quick throw here, that's complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A nice job to get 11 out of that pass play, but now they face a third and goal. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats in the first half for Tampa Bay. And despite the fact that they're down on the scoreboard, they were able to have some success throwing the football in that opening half. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. 
Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Aaron Rodgers, we focus on him for our player's spotlight. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. That's some good hard running there as he'll push his way forward for about five. Well, these two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two. And it was the Falcons getting the road victory in that one. So they'll look to finish off the season sweep here in Atlanta. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. With a heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Oh, moving from his tight end spot there. Do you think that perhaps the play call was for him? Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Throwing now is Rodgers. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now it's Rodgers. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. On second down now, it's Jones. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Open man is Myers. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the 5. Superb. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Play action, now it's Lance. It's caught, it's Chenault again. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Back to back, good plays, have them on the move on first down. To throw, it's Lance. And incomplete on the deep ball. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Lance. That's going to be caught. It's Chanel. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and ten. Now Lance. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Connor. To throw again on second down. Lance on the left side, a catch by White. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Off of play action, here's Lance. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. 
And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Now this one over the middle and into the hands of his tight end complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. A check down here to Jones. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. And again, it's Rodgers to Evans on the slam. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 41-yard line. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. There defensively was John Johnson to knock it free. To throw once more on second and 10. Rodgers, and he slings one that's incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Mike Hughes, and the Buccaneers are going to have it here just past the 25. Brandon, these cornerbacks have their hands full all afternoon long, but they finally get a measure of revenge as he gets himself in a nice spot. He's able to get two hands on the football and pick it off. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, a give to Connor. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. Here's Lance. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Play a shout from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Leonard Williams make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Another try after the first down sack. Lance. And his throw is going to be incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Call that a 
45 yard punt just two yards there on the return and possession will switch hands first and ten about set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and it worked this forward for about three at second down three yards on that last carry here's second and seven to throw it's Rodgers he completes it to Evans that catch good for five it's third down now Rodgers and he fires one but incomplete the Falcons send out their punter as he'll come on to kick this one away averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Sheldon Richardson has now recorded ten sacks on the season. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's caught by Myers. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. That's complete into the hands of Myers. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal, and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry if the ball ever hit the ground, and it didn't do it very often. Back now here on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And Jones with a first down carry, and he's going to wind up losing a couple as he stopped behind the line. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, Sometimes the result goes in their favor. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Looking for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler, rather more complex, in order to try and fashion together a drive. And they run the option here on first and ten. 
And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Falcons grab it. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Five yards remain on second down. Rodgers now to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Myers. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Rodgers to throw for it on four. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Now, there was a time when I would have been upset at teams throwing the ball with a big lead late, but I've evolved a little bit. I've come around. Ultimately, they're looking for first downs. If they think the air is the best place to do it, then so be it. In addition, you probably got a quarterback. It's a nice bonus if he keeps completing passes. So they want to keep throwing the football? Fine by me. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Mike Evans, his ninth touchdown this season. And the Falcons add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Tucker with the extra point. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. So that winds up a seven-play drive on two. And the end result in Atlanta touchdown. And this fielded right at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. Tough running, but not a lot to show for it. They stop and shy of the 25. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's Lance to throw it. He'll dump this one off to Connor. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Lance now to throw. Able to complete this to Chennault. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. They've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw, it's Lance. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Again, they'll throw it with Lance. Flushed out right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A good position to be in here, second and in inches. 
looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. So that'll back him up five. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the gun, it's Lance. He gets this to the former Aztec, Kahale Waring. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 21. Throwing now is Lance. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Shaquille Barrett gets his 20th sack of the season as he continues what could be a record-setting campaign. Throwing on second and long, Lance. That's complete to his tight end, Fryer move. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Throwing his Lance on third down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And they'll go for it. Lance. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. On play action, Rodgers. James has got it, complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and take it. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Shotgun now for Lance. To Connor on the check down. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And Lance going to throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From midfield, here's Lance. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Malik Hooker. And the Falcons are going to get it back here just past the 35. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
They'll run it with Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Jones. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Atlanta, they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10 and 2. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Bucs, they fall to 6-6 six and six now on the campaign. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills.